Kokomi volunteers storm residences of Lok Sabha MP R.K. Ranjan and Rajya Sabha MP Ketramayam Babananda against a disintegration of Manipur by final Naga Peace Talk settlement. All Manipur Students' Union, AMSU, says a citizenship amendment bill cannot be implemented in Manipur even if inner line permit system is implemented in the state. Chief Minister Nongtu Mambirin launches Imphal to Dimapur and Guwahati Alliance Air Flight Service under RCS Oran scheme today. And the Forest and Environment Minister Thaunao Jam Shyam Kumar inaugurates newly built Sangai enclosure at Manipur Zoological Garden in Hiroshima. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Joyce Yubusham with the top stories and the latest news at this hour. Women volunteers of Kokomi stomped the residence of uh, Lok Sabha MP Dr. R.K. Ranjan at Kongba Nandaibamlekai at around 2 p.m. today, demanding disclosure of the final Naga Peace Talks settlement. Imphal East Police personnel halted the agitators at the gate of MP R.K. Ranjan's residence. Extra police forces finally arrived along with Imphal East SP Jogesh Chandra Hauvijam and dispersed the protesters. Later, few protesters were allowed to meet with the MP's family members and held telephonic conversation with the MP. Speaking to media, one woman leader, T.H. Ramani, said that they have urged the MP not to let the final outcome of the Naga Peace Talks disintegrate to Manipur, to which the MP has assured of working as per the people's interest. BJP na pale, na hak si BJP ni, na hak na hai bata, BJP mohi na tabi da di, na hai na hai bata ta adra di, na hai na tilaro hai na thoro hai bata ba, adu ima hai na hai dua mohi na ta adra di, adu mak thoro ke na kome ewa na ko. Tapi tapi bagi mana ngai assembly pembiu, assembly da putok biu, assembly da putok ni ba warip to, Delhi da parlimen ta loi dengai da thabiu, ai koi ki mani puri iram damsi ki si minister loi di ba, koi koi ding mang na thagala kanda. Hengang kender kat tak kini nanti apa mak? Mani pun pun nak kini apa? Aduh, itu aja. Eko ini hai besu mak tapi uai benar apa? Yang nanti ngai tau bang ang amat dah. Nanti aduh lebi kene nanti bibat do. Madu kini matam tu hele. Protesters also stormed Rajya Sabha MP Ketramayam Babanandas residence at around 4 p.m. today against a disintegration of Manipur's territorial integrity by finalisation of the Naga Peace Talks. Imphal West Police personnel halted the agitators at the gate of MP Ketramayam Babanandas residence. Later, police allowed some protesters to enter MP Babanandas residence and held a telephonic conversation with the MP. Speaking to media, one protester demanded the MP to leave BJP if the centre acts against the people of the state. All Manipur Students' Union, AMSU, has called a 15-hour statewide total shutdown from 3 a.m. till 6 p.m. of December 10 in support of North East Students' Organization NISO's total shutdown on December 10 in all the Northeast states against the implementation of the Citizenship Amendment Bill, CAB. AMSU asserted that CAB cannot be implemented in the state even if inner line permit system is implemented in the state. President in charge of AMSU, El Thauba, made the announcement during a media interaction held at AMSU office in Thamoiban today. El Thauba expressed discontentment with uh, Chief Minister Nongtongbam Biren's assurance that the contentious bill will not harm the state. He said that people are apprehensive as Union Home Minister Amit Shah has not put his, into action his assurance of adding a special clause for Manipur in the bill till date. He appeals to civil society organizations, local clubs and the public to support the total shutdown. AMSU has exempted the religious activities and emergency services from the total shutdown and urged people to cooperate with media persons on duty.
Nisho ki component body mo iriba all Manipur students yun ang MSU na su ilam dam Manipur si da tang taragi ayupung ahum dagi numidang wayam pung taruk pao ba Manipur su total sa down gi koy gi nisho gi pire basi Manipur su MSU na sa wajari numidang si da Manipur dala iriba club maya pa ibi civil society organization sing imalup sing ay lekay gi club sing do kay chill gi imal sing na koy gi pun na Sokot minar kanda hai riba citizen sip amendment bill se, aku gigi sih gigi mayok ta sanksi riba, aku nesho na laut riba, aku gigi kongtang asih da emsu na sokot riba sih da su hai riba, perasa section kuting mangna sokot pinan na ba emsu gigi mayok ke digi apel tokjari, aku gigi honorable cm n birian na aku gigi ilp o na traga ilp ke mana ba close hap gani hai besa. Yang na koi lewa kiri, yang na lewa kuah bani. IELP sih dia koi gigi basic right na koi protection, koi pangbam tu ever. Koi gigi indigenous people ni, koi pur mi yang zaman nanti IELP leh deh. Hai tu na M sugi, mai kiri degi degi. Kebasi deh sungai yang bengam moyam. National Liberation Front of Tripura (NLFT) has strongly condemned the centre's efforts to pass citizenship amendment bill in the ongoing winter session of the parliament. NLFT, in a press release, stated that the group has been trying to regain Borok people's rights in Tripura. It also appeals to other countries to oppose the Indian government's efforts to pass the CAB. Manpac held a leaders' meet on citizenship amendment bill at Amuko office in Kwaketel today. Manpac convener Yumnamcha Dilip Kumar chaired the meeting attended by leaders of various women associations, political parties and civil society organizations. Attendees discussed about measures to be taken to thwarts the negative impact of citizenship amendment bill upon indigenous inhabitants of North East states including Manipur. They also stress on the need for the 60 state assemblies to take measures against the contentious bill. Menpak also announced their agitations against the bill from tomorrow till December 11. The protest includes on the road mass protests tomorrow and cease work strike along with various intense agitations after midnight of December 9 till 3 p.m. of December 11. Manpac has urged all the inhabitants of both hills and valley regions of the state to take part in the protest. Manipur People Democratic Alliance (MPDA), a conglomerate of nine political parties, has demanded the government to place before the public domain the special clause for Manipur supposed to be added in the Citizenship Amendment Bill. And MPDA has also warned the state MPs to bear all the unwanted consequences in the event of implementation of the contentious bill. Speaking to media at Manipur Press Club today, MPDA. Convener come All India Trinamool Congress State Convener Dr. T. H. Inaucha stated that there is no chance of passing CAB from the Rajya Sabha when all the anti cab political parties strongly campaign against the bill. He also condemned uh, yesterday's police detention of those Manpac members upon their arrival in Imphal International Airport who returned from New Delhi after meeting with a union home minister. लोक सभा दा बीजेपी ने मेजॉरिटी पंगा कर सु राज्य सभा दा दी मेजॉरिटी पंगबंग गम हुए दोगी पिपम ममा दा लेडी बनी ना पुल्ला पंजन नरगा कन मोंग दा कैंपेन तरोगा दी एक होई की पार्टी की माइकेई दे दी टीएमसी की एमपी सिंह दा एक होई हंजन हंजन हाई रगा लाई रे ममा आंग दगी तुम तक नरगा मणिपुर दा केवके � Office of the Chief Minister, Secretariat, the Jury Government of Manipur, London, in a press release stated that British did not keep Manipur as a British colony after subjugating it. So Manipur was called Manipur State or a state of Manipur as clearly mentioned in the Government of India Act 1935. The press release said that Manipur gained independence from the British on August 14, 1947. And with the lapse of British paramountcy, Manipur became a sovereign country on August 15, 1947. The press release further mentioned that if any Indian wants to enter Manipur, he or she can visit under a permit system and it requires a passport for any foreigner to enter Manipur. 
Chief Minister Nong Thumambiri launched Alliance Air Flight Service from Imphal to Dimapur and Guwahati under RCS Uran scheme today. Speaking at the event held at Bir Dikend Rajid International Airport today, Chief Minister N. Biren asserted that the flight service will strengthen ties between Manipur and Nagaland states. Meanwhile, private media persons have expressed a disappointment with the transport department who has organized the launching event. Speaking at the event, N. Biren expressed happiness over the Imphal to Dimapur and uh, Guwahati flight service, which uh, has been made possible under the RCS Uran scheme. He disclosed that Chief Executive Officer of the Indian Airlines has assured to make available daily flight service for the route within a couple of months. Journalists from private media firms who came to recover the news expressed uh, disappointment upon being informed that only journalists of DDK All India Radio and the IPR department will be allowed to take part in the flight of flagging of ceremony after collecting necessary documents by the transport department through the IPR department. Later, Chief Minister Nong Thumambirin gave a green signal to the journalists from private electronic media firms to join in the ceremony. How However, none of the journalists from private uh, printing media firms could attend the launching event. From today onward, we're going to have it. For this, I would like to thank the Alliance Airways for your contribution, for your effort. And I hope, now this is only twice a week, and I hope Mr. C.S. Shubhaya, Chief Executive Officer, assure me, he committed to start daily flight within these two, three months, sorry. And I also expecting that what the Alliance here said they do. This scheme is under the Uran schemes, which was launched, which started by the, under the supervision and the guidance of the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji. I hope more flight in the days to come will be provided to the people of the state. Thank you. Forest and Environment Minister Thaunao Jam Shyam Kumar opened a newly built Sangai enclosure to facilitate public and tourists coming to witness the endangered Sangai deer at Manipur Zoological Garden in Irashamba today. A pair of the endangered species is kept within the enclosure. Principal Chief Conservator of Forest and Head of Forest Task Force Karil Holvi Angami, Principal Chief Conservator of Forest PCCF, Wildlife DJN Anand and staffs of the Forest Department took part in the event. Speaking on the occasion, Minister T.A. Shamkumar said that the state government along with the Forest Department opened the Sangai enclosure sp sponsored by the Sangai Express to exhibit the endemic Sangai deer which is found only at Kaibulam Jao. The Minister appreciated the Sangai Express for their initiatives. He appeals to the public to care and protect wildlife. I am the first department, I am the director of the senior officer. I am the senior department. I am the Sangai Enclosure. I am the inaugurator. I am the Sangai. 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 I am the Sang Minister Thauno Jam Shyam Kumar, who is also the Minister for Horticulture and Soil Conservation, has lamented that persistent use of chemical fertilizers has increased the risk of cancer in the state. He was speaking at the launching of poster hoarding street corner meeting and publicity campaign on organic products for valley districts of the state at Kurai Lining Tho Putiba Shanglen today. Laumi Shinmi Apunba Loop Laushal will carry out the campaign sponsored under MoMA's Consumer Awareness scheme. Minister T.A. Shamkumar urged people to start organic farming to ensure health, safety and security. Encouraging people to inculcate good habit, good work habits to become self-reliant, Minister Shamkumar short of necessary assistance from the government. Agriculture Commissioner M. Joy, Commissioner of the Horticulture and Soil Conservation Department M. Hare Krishna, Project Director of MoMA K. Devadatta, Laushal President M. Charumani and many eminent persons took part in the event.
Fortune Capians in a Papa Purapu with us no, Aduga Leiba, Mayang Lomi, Loxangi, Penda, Manipurgi, Median Kutan, the Manipurgi Prasamiam, the Apil Tozeri, Madudi, Kang Hotik, the Pime, the Lagi, Skim Kudimak, the Wiakudimak, Subjective, Net, YouTube, the Loyan of Ayama, who is a brother of one. Quagi, what's up to Sudan, Hadoponi, Kabo, the Hapani, Matam Sana, Madid, the Pamena, Hadamayam, the Lomi Singi. Aquina. Tauzi with Tabu Mandu, the Pin the Bat, the Legacy Department, Miss Justova, Pin the Legacy Madu, Diak Laku, and then Akuki, Lang, the Naswai Hydena, the Pamengi Minister, the Blame Dogito Virakan. Adu Adumahai or Adumasia Tower, Aduma Tore and have the two department, Sula Agatum Kondo. Yad the other cover up on a media, Minister Unabasi, Unahalatre, Mrs. Hadwasi, Skimisi Tarotre, she talked to the Kapata Hapon, Kapata, Gummy and Sikamai, Pepper said Midnakum never. Central Good and Services Tax GST Imphala observed a nationwide feedback diverse to get response from stakeholders on the new GST service return system today. Taxpayers and other stakeholders attended the event held at Central GST Imphal in North AOC. Speaking on the occasion, Joint Commissioner of Central GST Imphal Commissioner Ritt, Current Thapper said that the nationwide feedback diverse organized under the Union Finance Ministry was held ahead of implementation of the new GST system, which becomes effective from April 2020. He said that feedbacks from taxpayers would be taken by asking them to fill up a trial form online. Current Thapar asserted that the Finance Ministry will consider the stakeholders' feedbacks and suggestions while implementing the new system. The Joint Commissioner added that under the new GST service return system, taxpayers who earn less than 5 crore rupees turnover per annum will be made to pay tax thrice a year, and those above the proposed uh, turnover will continue paying tax every month as usual. He also disclosed that return forms are named as Sahes and Sugam will be made available online to facilitate taxpayers under the new system. Current Thapar lauded taxpayers of the state for their feedbacks. These will be applicable for small taxpayers who have turnover up to 5 crores. So they can opt for filing these forms which will be need to be filed once every quarter. Meaning the returns will have to be filed only once in three months by small taxpayers. The large taxpayers will continue to file returns monthly. The payment system will continue to be monthly. Uh, however, the return facility will only be quarterly for small taxpayers. The feedback device is being organized uh, by us to s spread awareness about this new return system and about the need to improve the system. So we are asking for suggestions and feedback from taxpayers. We are making them file uh, the returns forms online. These are trial forms. These are all dummy forms, but it is going to get uploaded online and the uh, feedbacks will also be get uploaded. So the finance ministry can then examine what further changes need to be made and whatever suggestions are coming in, the system will be streamlined and made easy. Indian Psychiatric Society IPS Manipur State Branch held its 20th annual conference Manipur Psychiatric Conference 2019 at Hotel Imphal North AOC today. Speaking at the event, a Secretary of Indian Psychiatric Society Manipur State Branch Dr. S. Gojendra stated that Manipur has the highest rate of mental health problems in the country. He also stated that stakeholders have major roles in curbing suicide which is a major mental health problem. Asserting that around 8 lakh people commit suicide in one year and one person commits suicide every 40 seconds. Dr. S. Gojendra said that experts are roughly estimating that one person might commit suicide every 20 seconds in the coming years. He maintained that the annual conference aimed to ascertain the root causes of suicide and its preventive measures. Dr. S. Gojendra stated that Manipur has the highest suicide rate in the country as per National Mental Survey 2016. He muted that the prevailing issues facing the state and the unemployment crisis might be the reasons behind the increased suicide rates in the state. Budding mental health professionals and experts read out their papers at the event attended by RIMS Director Professor A. Shanta, former head of RIMS Psychiatry Department Professor S. H. Ganeshwar, immediate past President of Indian Psychiatric Society Manipur State Branch, Professor H. Hiramani, President of Indian Psychiatric Society Manipur State Branch, Dr. S. Manikanta, former head of RIMS Clinical Psychology Department, Professor A. Akshay Kumar, and experts from Bangalore, Kolkata, and Guwahati. Society ki maram se thikat matam da cha ada marfu thiki marfu taradi mental health causes hoiba psychiatric ki causes hoiba aduna asiki causes se akun thikal laga kamaina ngathok pangamani early diagnosis kamaina tawni.
Hibagi, Pandanda, Chicken Pansu, Akuna Sinjabani, a society early intermission, Hani Akuna, Ramtuna, Akuna, Society Tony, Natagamagi, Katang, Kano Pamutamda, Akuna Mounda Katang, intermission period, Natagamanda, Tipenta Holiday, Society Kadmangami, Susato Jingada, Maki, Katang, Aku Hins Kardin Pirame, Magi, Marimata Vijay, my friends of Vijay, my family member of Vijay, Ado Hins Akuna Kango Bunsangi, Comfort Piraba, what is an ability, Society. Special Judge Pokso Imphal is Maibam Manoj Kumar has sent a man convicted of raping a minor girl of four years to five years of rigorous imprisonment and a fine of 5,000 rupees. The convict is 28-year-old MD Bashir Ahmed, son of late MD Iboyai from Ketri Mayalekai. The court has also directed the concerned department to pay the victim 50,000 rupees as compensation under Manipur Victim Compensation Scheme. Bashir lured the minor with a chewing gum and raped her when no one was around in 2014. He was arrested following a complaint filed by the minor victim's mother at a women police station in Fall East. After necessary investigations by the investigating officer of the case, a charge sheet was filed against Bashir on April 30, 2016. Bashir was produced before the court for a final hearing on December 5 this year, where he was pronounced guilty. He was produced before the court today for the sentence hearing. Defense counsel pleaded the judge for leniency in punishment, while state counsel special public Persecutor prayed to award stringent punishment to the convict under Section 10 of the POXO Act 2012 for com committing sexual assault. After listening to both the sides, a special judge Maibam Manoj Kumar announced the sentence. A team led by Chairperson of Manipur Legislative Assembly Women and Child Committee A.K. Mirabai inspected the condition of women inmates at Manipur Central Jail in Old Lumberland today. Speaking on the sidelines, Patsway Emily A.K. Mirabai said that the team came across the jail authority taking various measures including vocational courses to bring back the women inmates to normal life. MLA AK Mirabai also short of looking into various complaints being circulated on media about substandard products by, given by Aganwadi centers of the state at the earliest. Hyanglam MLA Dr. Y. Radesham Thanga MLA T. Robindro Wangjing Tentha MLA P. Brojan Wabagai MLA Fazur Rahim Jiribam MLA Ashabuddin Director of Social Welfare Department N. G. Utam and eminent officials of the department took part in the inspection. Koi Angalwadi center da ma koi ki ma koi ki mitte mil ka mari lai na na. E tu de ki ai koi ki lai ba hot cook mil amadi ai ko ready to eat lai ba matam matam ki piri ba sinjak singche ma ki pi ke to bas sangche yau dona pire hai dona khabar kagast e ba amadi matam cha na pi dre na hai ba na sing ba khara lai ma tu zumi na tra ka lali hai ba se kamiti si na ma khata na. The Natana, Tongan Tongan Ba, Department Sing the Lariba, I go child labor gi, I go is in the home sing the Matoka minus a lady, Hibernus sing but my am sing a say, Kamiti Gitim Masina, Makatana Tigalaga, Madu, I go a papa londa, Lera Magana, Hena Panaba, Sajas and Piba, Madi, Karigumba, a swivel letter magazu, some Tokna Begi, Tanja Hibodo, Longa Begida Magda, Makatana, Jansingi. Social Welfare Minister Nemcha Kipgen today disbursed funds of 20,833 beneficiaries for Manipur All Age Pension MOAP scheme under Go To Village GTV mission in her chamber at a new secretariat in Fall. As a part of the GTV mission, Social Welfare Department Manipur issued forms for beneficiary oriented schemes to eligible and deserving beneficiaries residing at every part of the state through the concerned nodal officers of the department. Speaking to media, Minister Nemcha Kibian expressed that such landmark defeat of landmark feat of the Social Welfare Department to reach out to deserving beneficiaries to every nook and corner of the state was made possible through the Go to Village program. She asserted that following verification of 25,312 all age pension forms received till June 2019 from 60 constituencies of the state. 20,833 beneficiaries were selected for the pension of 1,200 rupees every six months through direct benefit transfer 
with uh, to avoid any misappropriation of funds by any third party. Minister Nemcha Kipgen handed over the pension amount to Deputy Manager of Manipur State Cooperative Bank Senjam Biren at the event. Manipur ge manung hanjin ba mpom da leba amadi jing ge athap athap pa mpom da leiri ba ahan oiri ba sing na ores pension hairi ba ores pension asigi matang da maram da khang dena leirami ngasi de honorable chief minister na hodok tu na go to village ge program ge makha da social welfare department na piri ba manipur ores pension asi Manipur ge assembly constituency hum phoda 20833 beneficiary bibi bangamle hauji pali ba government na haudok tuna go to village maru oina social welfare department na peri ba skim singi maramda miyambo knowledge phanghan bangamle loina na skim kya ge kanaba phanghan basungamle Members of various local clubs, Marapaibis and organizations carried out protest demonstration against termination of more than 80 laborers of FCI Godown Sangai Pro at Lukram. In their press release, urged the authorities' concerns to rehire the employees at the earliest, failing which they warned of banning all the activities of the FCI. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you an exclusive report on the youth from Manipur who has successfully built a humanoid robot. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back after the break. You're watching Primetime English News. Joining the world in the competition for building humanoid robots, a youth from Manipur has successfully built a humanoid robot. Impact News reporter Bhakta Tarangbam and camera person Bisorjit Namirakpam bring you an exclusive report. It's 65 and sunny. Today, it'll be with a forecasted high of 75 and a low of 49. Who am I? Your name is Roshan. Iram Roshan Maite, popularly known as Chauba, is an enthusiast of robots and science fiction movies since his childhood days. He has successfully built a humanoid robot named as Important Voice Authentication Life Assistance, Ivala, which can recognize human face and voice. The robot, attached with a mechanism wheel powered by 12 volt battery power supply, can move in every direction. It is also attached with a teaser gun and a hand to hold things. Two inbuilt cameras enable Ivala to recognize faces and a special Google Voice application enable it to communicate with humans. Iram Roshan said that if Manipuri language is installed in the application, then the robot will be able to communicate even in Manipuri language. Face detection at the ID Migi at the ID Akoye object identified over me and the one Kumatam the ID Heidi voice here when I am the Lang Mama Pamdore as well. Heidi Miam and Heidi by my mom in correct target. Heidi was a moon than he can go. Heidi Alang from the letter. So Chakaji, Heidi feature can or Heidi target when a space can the video when a mama labor quote part. Some never the assistant when Heidi I want to put a mass long to look in. And they be talking about it. I want to be dangerous and I want to be able to do it. 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 Irom Roshan is the son of carpenter Irom Tomba Mite and Irom Ongbi Rekha from Sagolban Moirang Hanuba Mayai Lerak in Patsway constituency of Imphal West. Roshan has inborn creative skills and has shown keen interest in his father's profession. Studious Roshan secured first division in the class 10 examination conducted by Bosem but discontinued his studies after completing his fifth semester of graduation 
condition owing to certain inconveniences. Roshan developed a keen interest in robotic science and researched on the subject on the internet. He took a firm decision to create a robot which can communicate and assist human beings and strive towards his goal. Roshan's parents faced various inconveniences in the process but their hard works finally paid off when their son successfully built a humanoid robot. They express extreme happiness and pride for their son's achievement. ปอใจชาวกดปะจิมะรัมดะมาเจคราอดุตอยนะอินเทรสออนไลน์บะมาขังเดกไกไฮกะตะโนไอไฮฮอมขังเดอดุมานะซีตอรกบะดาอะคอ
Staffs of Health and Wellness Center at Awang Wabagai Lekai in Imphal West accorded a warm welcome to Maibam Ranita, who was recently accorded the National Florence Nightingale Nurses Award 2019 upon her arrival at Imphal International Airport today. President Ramnath Kovin conferred upon the prestigious award to Ranita during an event held at New Delhi on November 5. I beg your pardon, on December 5. Indian Nursing Council accorded, accords the award to outstanding nurses in acknowledgement of their tremendous and exemplary roles. Maibam Ranita is currently serving as the Community Health Officer of a Health and Wellness Center at Awang Wabagai Lekai. Speaking to media, Ranita urged the medical professionals of the state, especially the nurses, to treat patients with utmost love and care to enhance nurse-patient relationship. Uh, as a nurse, I give message to uh, you. My na thabak to bamba tamda dedication or ina to bigadam niya duga. Koi ki patient the deal to bamba tamda soft skill ka kona na musung patient na high ba. My am to tabi raga. I give tamza rakpa skill do na moy the apply to rapi bi rapi bi gada bani patient ka relationship repo phaza ke haraga di koi na tab na ina moy the ngang bi ba moy patient na the di khangza ponte any disease any na bamba tamda phaza na explain to bi ba moy ki tamak tamat tam kai thok bi ba ado raga di problem sing. Center for Rural Empowerment and Development Credo kicked off two day workshop on intervention to improve the mental health of widows of injecting drug users in Manipur as a strategy for HIV prevention at Lamyan Bashanglin today. Chairman of Manitko and Manitron Limited, Kamhyang Lam Emle, Dr. Y. Radesham, and Kairao Emle L. Rameshwar attended the workshop sponsored by National Commission for Women, Government of India. Joint Director of Manipur State AIDS Control Society, Dr. Abhiram Mongjam, spoke on the topic Trends of Female Drug Users in Manipur. Secretary of Nirvana Foundation, Shobana Sorakaibam, stressed on substance abuse among female injecting drug users and suggestive measures. An epidemiologist of the medical director, Dr. Ashima Haubijam, spoke on mental health and widows of injecting drug users on the first day of the workshop today. Exercises, some workshops in the set. Do in the Toraga. I have a deadly weapon, yes, no Bolena. Matu Toliba, I said, people make share. Quite Malayam, she didn't put boy, but just no. Manipur Upliftment Center and Women's Studies Center, Manipur University, jointly organized a national seminar on increasing crime against women under the SAGI, information security policy law, and impact of social media in the context of Manipur. Sponsored by National Commission for Women, Government of India today. Head of Manipur University's Linguistic Department, Professor N. Pramodini, Senior Journalist Yambim Laba, Social worker Rajita Ilangbam, professors and students of Manipur University, intellectuals, Mayrapaibis and many eminent people attended the event held at the Seminar Hall of Linguistic Department, Manipur University. Speaking on the occasion, Vice President of Manipur Upliftment Centre, Angom Cha Chinkai, said that the seminar aims to analyse the condition of women, crimes against women and the roles of social media in combating such crimes. Lamdam Sida Thok Leba Crime Against Women, I Reba Sing Sida Information Technology, the social media and low we have a talk dancing, a doga quake systems, the sway, but Luvol Sing Sing Tang, the Kanan and Nenaba seminars of Pang Tok Sabani, I coin a Tongan Tonganba, cyber crime gi, the Gikwagi, social media the labor, Made Tongan Tonganba, social workers sing a coin a Tanarga, a coin a Tanar by experiencing Hose Hose, cyber crime, Gamarilla Nana, Tabuk cyber crime, a Tabuk to Viriba, is now sing the Mona Tangariba, Makoi the Lady, but Luvol Sing, I Reba Sing Sipuna, a coin a Kanan and Raganda, Marudagi Hen Apaba, Hen Piecing the safe over zero tolerance over Adogumba and Onka Queen of Propong and Gudra Havagi Wakal on the Queen of Sing Sing Seminars in Sin Germany. Newly formed a farmers club with an aim to enhance agricultural production to boost the state's economy launched its various undertakings at Thaubal District Hairog Part 1 Bazaar today. KVK Thaubal senior scientist Dr. Jeshma Rani Sarangtem and Upa Diksha of Thaubal Zila Parishad 
Ti Nungshi attended the launching program. Resource persons and senior scientists of KVK Thobal stressed on cultivation of various winter cash crops at the event. State Association of Handicrafts uh, Technologies Manipur held its first Foundation Day celebrations at Manipur Press Club today. Association President K. H. Surbala, ex Deputy Director of Manipur Development Society S. Inaubi, Board of Director of Manipur Apex Handloom Weavers and Handicrafts Artisans C. S. Private Limited S. Bhubol, and many eminent persons spoke on handloom and handicrafts at the event. Members of Manipur Muslim Welfare Organization presented gifts to orphans on the organization's Foundation Day today. Members also distributed food items to students of Jamia Mishbahul Ulum School in Kurai Constituency. Speaking on the sidelines, MMWO Information and Publicity Secretary Kulakpam Adil Khan said that the organization will strive their best for the welfare of the society. As a part of the security measures taken by District Police Bishnupur, cordon and search operations were carried out at Konka Makalekai Ward No. 8 area from 5 a.m. till 6 a.m. today. The police team, including women personnel, carried out the operation under the command of Bishnupur District Police Additional SP operation. Altogether, 340 individuals, including 140 women, were verified during the drive. The team picked up a two bailout of proscribed KYKL and handed them over to Nambol Police Station for further verification. Central and Urban Forest Division Manipur Forest Department conducted a cleanliness drive at Nupilal Complex today ahead of Nupilal Memorial event on December 12th. Chief Conservator of Forest T.I. T.H. Mohendra Pratap and C Central DFO R.K. Amarjit lets the team of 60 personnel and staffs of the Forest Department. Laborers of LPG bottling plant along with locals repaired the National Highway No. 2 today. Members of Awang Sekmai Nong Thomban Youth Club, LPG loading and unloading laborers and allied workers union repaired the road in Sekmai Imphal West District to ease the passes by plying on the road. They urge the authorities concerned to start blacktopping the road without further delay. State level Gangai Celebration Committee Manipur has urged the coordinating body of Trade Union Manipur to withdraw its general striking post on January 8 next year as the biggest festival of the Kabui community, Gangai Festival 2020, falls on the same day. All Manipur Bodybuilding Association kicked off the 58th annual Mr. Manipur contest at Kumanlampak Main Stadium today. 148 men and 10 women participants were, are taking part in the contest. Main event of the contest will be held in 7 main and 21 sub-group categories tomorrow. ขนาดเซียวดีมีสามกับยังเคยนิพพานเองกี่คอมพิติชันมาคุ้มกันตั้งแต่เราไปทำเพื่อเชื่อมสาวกับรวยกันบอดี้บิลดิ้งนุ่
and the Forest and Environment Minister Tanal Jam Shyam Kumar inaugurates newly built uh, Sangai enclosure at Manipur Zoological Garden in Hiroshima.